Hoi! This video is sponsored by the Bailey's Women's Prize for Fiction. This year I'm going to be doing a couple of videos with the Bailey's Prize. I'm quickly going to talk you through how this is going to work before we get into the books. On April 11th the shortlist for the Bailey's Prize was announced and I actually got to go to the event and they announced the six books that were on the shortlist. I actually hadn't read any of them and I've actually never attempted to read the shortlist of any fiction prize before. The winner will be announced at the beginning of June so between now and then I will be reading the shortlist and I am going to make some videos videos talking about them. For this first video I was going to do an unboxing originally but then I thought it might actually be more fun if I read some tasters of all these books so I know a little bit more about them. So last week I read the first chapter of all six books so let's get into them. I'll do it in the order that I read them. I read the first chapter of The Green Road by Anne and Wright. This is set in Ireland and it starts off with a young girl called Hannah sort of describing her family situation, describing her siblings and the town that she lives in and a lot of the family and town dynamics. There's a bit of untold family history, there's a little bit of family rivalry. This feels like a very obvious one where family is going to be very central to the story and this actually starts out in 1980. I found the first chapter fairly easy to get into, easy to figure out who the characters are and what the setup of the story is, so look forward to reading more of this. And then the next novel is also by an Irish author but it's basically the opposite and it's The Glorious Heresies by Lisa McInerney. I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce it. If you do know, please let me know in the comments. As you can tell from the cover, this is a different story entirely. This starts off with a 15 year old boy called Jimmy bringing a girl home sort of for the first time when his dad is out and it's him describing how he's like introducing the girl to his house and slowly leading her up to his bedroom. I found the writing of this really descriptive and a little bit gritty but beautiful at the same time. And then at the end of the first chapter, it's which is to the point of view of a woman called Maureen who basically finds herself with a dead guy. I think it's in her kitchen who she's accidentally murdered. So a bit of setup going on there. I've read a bit of the back that tells you a little bit more about how these connect but I will discover more as the book goes on. Then there is Ruby by Cynthia Bond. And it looks like this. This one had a little bit of trouble trying to figure out what the situation was. It did help for me to go and read a little bit of the back just to set it up. It's about a woman called Ruby Bell who comes back from New York to I think it's Liberty in Texas where she originally came from and she's sort of fallen on bad times and the people in the town aren't quite sure what to do with her. It is about the point of view of a, a man and he is sort of really drawn to her and is observing her but his sister who sort of raised him is, is warning him to stay away from this woman basically. Then next there is Hannah Rothschild's The Improbability of Love which is about a painting which is about to be the most expensive painting in the world. There's an auction and people are coming from all around the world to bid on this painting and records are expected to be broken. There's a lot of switching points of view. It's from the point of view of the guy who's doing the auction and then it slowly goes from person to person of the people that are making their way to the auction house that are all from really different backgrounds and have different intentions. I found the cover of this very interesting. I don't think the book inside sort of matches up with this cover but also seems really promising. And then I read the first chapter of A Little Life by Hanya Yanakihara. I've heard a lot of mixed opinions about this. Some people seem to love it, some people seem to hate it. Hard to tell a lot from the first chapter but it's about four guys in New York and mostly it's sort of explaining the dynamics between the guys and how they're trying to sort of set up their lives. Some of them are artists. There's two of them who are like trying to rent a really terrible apartment in New York. There's a lot in here about like their family backgrounds, where they come from and, and where they want to take their life or whether they're unsure where to take their lives. As you can tell, lots more story to come. And then finally, this one, which is quite quirky, I want to say. I hate using the word quirky, but it seemed like the best description. The Portable Veblen by Elizabeth McKenzie, which has um, a squirrel on the front which says maybe, yes, maybe, no. This is about a woman who has been in I think quite a short relationship with a man who then asks her to marry him and she says yes and it all seems pretty straightforward but meanwhile she keeps getting distracted by squirrels and she's sort of like talking to these squirrels and she calls her mom to tell her mom about the proposal. The first thing that she tells her mom is that there was this like squirrel watching them and she's also explaining how the guy she's about to marry actually doesn't know that much about her. There's like all these sort of 
things in her past. Seems like quite a cheerful book if it makes sense and a little bit kooky. One of the quotes on the back says the portable bevel and it's the squirreliest novel I've ever read. So we'll see where this takes me. Okay so those were the six books. Now I would love to hear from you which one you think I should read first. I'll be doing two Twitter polls. They'll be up at the moment. The links will be in the description and so I'll just pair up these in sort of pairs of three and you can go and vote for which one you think I should read first. I'll probably do these in reviews of three so there'll be two more videos coming out. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. As always, if you've read any of these, do let me know in the comments what you thought, and I'll talk to you guys later. Doei!